Hey guys, it's Greg. I'm here today. I'm having a pretty great day. I hope you guys are having a pretty great day too. You know, we're talking about the kind of day where I actually washed, rinsed, and repeated. That's why my hair is so lustrous and glorious today. Oh yeah. Okay, so why are we here today? Well, we are here today because my buddy Tom sent me a package. My buddy Tom is the creator of a board game called Quest for the Antidote. Check it out if you don't know about it already. I'm sure that there are other videos out there about that. We will be talking about that at some point, not today, because my buddy sent me a package in the mail. And he just got back from Gen Con which is a really, really big, really, really awesome board game convention, gaming convention, out in Indianapolis. And he was there to promote his board game, and he picked me up something that he thought that I simply could not be without. And he sent it to me, he gave me a hint as to what actually was in there for, for one of the things. This is, actually, this is actually a pretty big box. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, pretty big box. Uh, so I have to imagine that there's more than just what he said he gave me. Whoop! We're shaking a little bit because we're on this table that is not very secure. But anyways, I'm going to open it up and we're going to see what's inside and we'll talk about it and we'll see what kind of adventures we can go on. Okay, I'm excited. I have a pretty good idea. Like I said, I know one of the things, but it's a big box. I have an idea as to what else is in here. And we'll talk about that if it is indeed what's in here. But I'll open this up. I'm sure this is all very enthralling content for you all watching me open this box sort of off camera. All right. Okay. Greg, open this first. Okay. A letter from Tommy D. I'm going to read it. Okay. Okay, dearest Greg, dearest Greg, I hope this package finds you and your family well. Congrats on the success of your YouTube channel. I am a big fan and been looking forward to an unboxing or two. Unboxing, yes. So I figured I'd send you something to unbox. I have been traveling extensively of late and I came across something in my adventures that made me think of you. I brought it back, gave me all the feels, and made me nostalgic for our old college days. I hope you enjoy this package. May it be the gift that keeps on giving. Sincerely, Tom, the designer of the worldwide phenomenon, Quest for the Antidote. Seriously, guys, check it out. It's actually a really, really fun game, and I'm, I'm saying this not just because I'm the friend of the creator, but also it's fun. It's not a really heavy strategy game or anything like that. It's, it's kind of like a more adult kind of, uh, in terms of complexity, it's a little bit more adult version of... I'd say it's kind of like a candy land or a shoots and ladders. You walk around, you basically, you're cursed and you need to save yourself. You need to go and find the, the various ingredients for your antidote. So you walk around and every action that you take costs you breath. So I'll leave it at that for now. Seriously, guys, check it out. It is a really cool game. Check it out. Look into it. Play it. Buy it. That's all it's going to be. Okay, so let's see what we have in here. Okay, we have a big package right here. Sold as a set, do not separate. I don't think that this was what I was originally thinking it would be. So, he, now he did say that perhaps he was sending me things and trying to be a little bit sneaky. He said on the, the front, there are actually some stamps from the shippers. And the stamps say, Fragile Liquid. 
So, uh, if that ended up, if what I think might have ended up in here, then Tommy D and I are going to have some words. Okay. So this, this is actually, there's two of these and there's something in here. It probably would help if I had this on camera, don't you think? Okay, good job. Learning as we go along, folks. Learning as we go along. This has actually got some heft to it. Let's find out what we have here. You motherfucker. Pig feet. So, you know how you have a good friend? Well, I'll tell you how you know you have a good friend. You know you have a good friend when they play the same prank on you 14 years after they played it the first time. So, yeah. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so back in college, I was an RA. I don't want to go into that. I didn't really like doing it. I didn't really like how it made me feel as a person. So, I'll just leave it at that. One day, it was late, I was on duty, so I was not able to go anywhere. And my buddies Tom and Drew, they went out. Another one. Another one. Thanks, buddy. They were going out on a food run. And I was really hungry, I couldn't go out. And I didn't have a lot of money. So, thankfully, they offered to go out and pick something up for me. I was like, you know what I could really use? Let's hit me up with some of that five chicken nuggets from Wendy's for a dollar. All right, let's do that. So I, they come to my building, I give them my dollar, and then I go around and I do my thing. It takes them a really long time to get back. Really, really long time. And... When they get back, they hand me a bag. Inside it, pig's feet. No, no pickled pig's feet. That's not nice. Anyways. So yeah, apparently they went out to Wendy's and they were having a grand old time. And by the time they were done, Wendy's was closing. So they weren't able to get me the chicken nuggets that I asked for. So they decided that they were going to go out and they were gonna to go to the grocery store and say, hmm, should I get something that he would like or should I get something that we would like giving to him? And as you can tell, pickled pig feet. And I swear there's more in this box. That was just the top. So that's how he got the feels. That's how he got Nostel. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Guys, I'm really excited about this. I'll get to this in just a moment. I'm just going to finish up real quick on this story about Pickles Pig's Feet because I feel as though you are on the edge of your seat and you really want to hear about it. So I get the bag, I open it, and I'm like, Oh my God, what is it that I have in my hands? That's disgusting. So I promptly put the bag down on the front steps out of the building and I went inside and I said, good day. Whew. I said I wasn't gonna get into it, but when I, when I was an RA, you know, every now and then we would have various things pop up that we'd have to deal with. For example, uh, there was a night where the staff of another building was going out for a team building activity. And so in order to do that, uh, they needed coverage. And so I volunteered, I went and I patrolled the hallways of this other building, made sure that everyone was safe, made sure that everyone wasn't destroying the place, etc. They actually had a pretty nice building, so I didn't have to worry too much. Uh, even was talking with some of the residents and, and getting to know them, and, and that was really great. And the way our school's mail system worked was we would get a notification in our mailbox that says, hey, you have a package. And I got one of those, 
and it was awesome. I was like, oh, that's fun. What's, what's coming in the mail? I didn't expect anything. And so what I get is a big box, about the size actually of, of this one right here. And it's decorated like crazy. There's, there's puppies drawn on the outside. We love you, Greg. There's all kinds of great things like that. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Maybe it's, maybe it's from some of the residents that I met over there. Maybe it's from the staff of the building that went out on their team building. Not sure. Uh, so I get it. I go to my room. I'm all excited. What could this be? What could this be? Big old pig's feet. So Tommy D, you got me 14 years later. That's not cool. But thank you for thinking of me. Because this box is full of greatness. Okay, here's the thing that he tipped me off to. And this is something that I need to do a separate unboxing of. Holy cow. Holy cow. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Munchkin. Munchkin is a fantastic game. This is one of the games that got me into gaming uh, for board gaming. Uh, this, uh, Settlers of Catan and Dominion was actually the really big one. But Munchkin is awesome because you basically are playing a tabletop RPG in card form. You take the role of a, a character, you go and you kick down a door and see what's inside. You explore like that. Sometimes you'll fight a monster, sometimes you'll find treasure, sometimes you'll find, you know, various other things. But basically, when you acquire items, you automatically have the opportunity, well, not automatically, you, you have the opportunity to equip your character so that you get stronger, you get bonuses, so you can take on stronger foes. And they've been doing a lot of different versions of Munchkin. Uh, I actually went through a phase where I bought six of them just for fun. Back then, we were playing a lot of Munchkin. Me and, me and my buddies, we were playing a lot of Munchkin, and it was awesome. So then this comes out. And this is truly, truly amazing. I cannot wait to open this up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as you may know from my previous videos, and if you don't know from my previous videos, maybe go check those out because maybe you'll enjoy them. I hope that you will. But this is a new version of Munchkin based entirely on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I didn't know that this existed, and I'm so, so happy that it does. And I will, I promise you, make another video just unboxing this. Okay, that's, thanks Tom, this is awesome. Okay, and there's some other stuff in here too. Oh, I just found some more stuff. This is another really awesome game. This is legendary. This is put out by Upper Deck. It is Marvel. It is everything that you could ever want. You basically, it's a deck building game where you go and you try to add cards that will help you on your way later on. You need to face giant epic enemies. Uh, this one, I don't know how it is that I haven't got a copy of this yet. I am so happy to have this. This is, this is thankfully one of those kinds of games where I can play solo. So... That's, that's awesome because I don't really have much opportunity in my day-to-day -day these days to play games. Uh, certainly not to coordinate schedules with other players. So I am so, so happy this. And check it out. We got Magneto is one of the big bad guys. We got Deadpool's in it. We got Spider-Man. Looks like we got some, some Sabretooth. White Queen, Emma Frost. We got some Rogue. Uh, I guess that's, that's, Scar uh, that's Black Widow. Uh, Wolverine. I mean, how could you have, how could you have a Marvel game without Wolverine? The Hulk. Okay, I've played this a number of times, uh, and it is a really, really great game. There's a ton of new expansions for it that just add a bunch of fun new things to it. Uh, there's one for Guardians of the Galaxy. There's one for. Uh, the Sinister Six and, and Spider-Man specific stuff, and there's one specifically for X-Men. 
So this is really awesome and I am so looking forward to getting my hands on this uh, as a copy of my own. Oh, I just noticed this too. This is, it's, well, I guess it's not really, but it kind of is, if you cut off this end, it's kind of reminiscent of X-Men number one from, I think, 1964. Uh, yeah, so we got Magneto over here and a bunch of heroes going at him. Uh, obviously, it's not the X-Men coming at him this time, but even still. Very, very cool. I'm looking forward to getting in and play some more of that. So thanks, Tom. That was that was also awesome. And what I just reacted to a moment ago... Uh, more Ninja Turtles! So this is for Hero Clicks, which is a long-running game. This is... I don't really know all of what goes into it, but anything Ninja Turtles makes me very happy. And it looks like, I have to imagine that this is going to work with the full, the full game. Uh, you know, they, they have a bunch based on uh, various superheroes. They have DC, they have Marvel. And this is specific to Ninja Turtles. So I'm going to have to figure out how to play because I now have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Hero Click, the starter set for Mouser Mayhem. Oh, that's fun. That's cool. Thanks, Tom. Okay, what else do we have here? Well, we have the Gen Con program book. Presumably what will tell you what's happening in the, in the convention. Okay, well, I'll look through this later. Very cool. Looks like there's a lot of fun stuff there. I'm actually pretty jealous. I should have gone. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Dice Masters. Dice building game. I have to assume that this is... There's another uh, Dice Masters game. I have to assume that this plays with it. Two dice storage trays holds over 300 dice. I didn't know that this existed either. So this is pretty cool. I, I'm going to have to look into this. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles dice building game brings the heroes in a half shell from the inner city sewers to your tabletop. These pizza loving superheroes offer a special delivery of action to new and veteran Dice Masters players alike. Featuring fan favorites including Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, Donatello, Splinter, April, and their enemies, this box has everything two or four players need for Dice Masters actions, including dice, cards, bags, and playmats. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Dice Masters uses the same award-winning proprietary system as Quarriers. Quarriers is a great game, so I, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to mix them, but that would be really cool. Um, I played a lot of Quarriers with, with Tommy D over the years. That's really awesome. Is fully compatible with other Dice Masters products. Very, very cool. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So that that's that. That was a very unexpected and very awesome, awesome thing. Thank you so much again, Tom. Ninja Turtles Dice Masters. Ninja Turtles Munchkin. Ninja Turtles, Mouser Mayhem, uh, Hero Clicks, and Legendary. And Pig's Feet. Not just one, two. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. This was really awesome to, to get this, and I'm really excited to get my hands on things and, and play and, and find out what all of these games have to offer. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit.